Not like before. I feel it. And we'll be with you. We'll tell you what to do. So new danger. What is it like, the Red Square? I can't wait to see it. People before used to say it was the heart of our motherland. I've never been to this place. And so it only on the old postcards. This must be the most popular postcard site of Moscow. The St. Basil's Cathedral, the Kremlin. All the foreign tourists used to be brought here first and foremost. They didn't nuke the Kremlin in the war. Instead, they hid it with something. Something that spared all the buildings but ate everything organic within the radius of a few miles. Something experimental. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Uh, when shit hits the fan, you're not gonna go with the experimental stuff to on critical targets. I mean, you need to get, you need guaranteed results. You, you you use what you know works. Experimenting something on without a doubt, because it's probably war is a good time to experiment. I guess. However, I, I'm not sure. At the same time, Kremlin probably isn't all that critical of a target. I mean, it needs to be taken out. But militarily speaking, it's not that important. At the same time, if you're nuking civilian targets already, the Kremlin is gonna go. It's like not nuking the White House. It just isn't gonna happen. Something experimental. Is this the center? All the roads lead to this place. That's why they could not leave. Being low on the filters. They are here. For too long. So many of them. They know. They know we are here. So I've been seeing no point trying to pretend to be stealthy here. So I'm switching to the better ammunition of the assault rifle. My backup weapon after we run out of ammunition with the shotgun. Uh, I don't want to... I basically need it to be very good at that point. We have more or less about 20 minutes of filter time. Not quite. Darkness. Coming. Hurry. Okay, but... I'm not sure where we're supposed to go. Okay. Uh, 
Basically, dip your fucking leg in a water and it's instant death. That's so infuriating. Stand. I will help. Do not disturb them, Martin. Stay close to me. They've been here for so long. Lots of them. But they are all lonely. Only fear and pain. They can't leave. And want somebody to stay with them. I want to avoid killing anything if I can do it. So, even the rats, as long as they're not going to fight with me. Okay, so... We're not supposed to come here. Supposed to get inside. Right. Where did we come from? We're currently being spotted, so there's no hiding here. We'll fight straight on if something uh, something picks up a fight with us. It seems like an arena of some sort. There are bad people. 
Okay, on filters. Not great though. Also, we are definitely being spotted. Cause there's no hiding in an environment like this. More or less, just need to go from filter to filter. One more! Put your weapon on the ground and hands behind your head! I will be doing this, Artyom! <laughs> well, you're like have to run out someday. You can be- Don't stand. I will help. Are you? We'll help you see. Follow me. Yeah, this is not a good place to fight. Basically, the worst possible, worst possible place to fight. Cover doesn't last. I didn't take out anyone yet. We'll help you see. Yeah, this is not gonna work out. I need to be able to take. Now is the only time in the entire fucking game where a long range weapon would be nice. We have the, we have mines. I think there are things with these guys that we could switch to. He has uh, anti-material battle ammunition. A car might be good cover simply because it actually would it won't disintegrate after a couple of weeks. Also bombs. I can trigger them myself. 
I would imagine so, but you never know. Opa! One more! Put your weapon on the ground and hands behind your head! I will be blended to <laughs> you! You're like head to run out someday. Don't stand. I will help. No more. Too tired. Attack! Eliminate him! Sigur! Carry out the order, Blin! He seems to be slowing down time fairly regularly. And you had a chance. You know you could have stayed at the red line. We would have taken you in. How long I can stay here? Or what? Maybe you thought Corbus forgot all about you? Not on your lifetime, D'Artagnan. And neither did I. The shit thing is, I, I don't know if I have any chance of doing anything. Basically, without just going out there. Gonna rush me or what? Got me covered pretty well though. I'd like to go get some of the guys on the fucking sidelines. It's just so far dangerous to go out there, at the same time I'm running out of time.
Oh fuck. Okay, there you have a decent amount of firepower. If I show my face, you can have a look at the cake carelessly undead. I fucking can't see them. Where are the shots going? You're checking it out? Huh? No, of course, it's not like burning helpless mutants. I know. Ah. Because it's so like it's coming from through the roof. No, it's the ricocheting, I guess, from the floor. No, of course, it's not like burning helpless mutants, I know. You are one tough son of a bitch. Sua, you're coming to finish the job or what? Come on, come up here. Come on, Artyom, come on. <laughs> Come up here, he actually shooting from there. I'm low on medkit, so I'm seeing if there's any anyone there, anything they dropped here. That looked like it. Still, he's not actively shooting at me. There's a health pack. Ah, some decent amount of ammunition. The resource swap wise we're doing fine. Same shit another time. He's shooting from I don't see him. He isn't red, no anger, just sadness. I don't understand. So sad what he does what he had to do. Uh he go somewhere? Oh a knife, huh? Uh at my boy. That's my boy. Давай, давай. No remorse. 
The test of Octiabriskaya was successful. The virus kills fast and goes inert fast. If we can get enough of it, clearing out the whole metro is possible. But we must capture D6 first. Thus, Comrade Morozov, you have only one chance to pull this off. The Order has good fighters, but there are too few of them to cover all the entry points. Our scouts have located a poorly descended entrance through Kremlin. While Miller's at the peace conference in Polis, he will be unable to command his men. That's when we strike. Yes, a week longer, and then comes the dawn of a new age. Yeah, we'll help. That's the end result, isn't it? To the endless cycle of violence, someone is basically going to have to go through another solution than just keep on killing. It doesn't necessarily make or every killing every time a bad choice, but considering how this is going, basically. I seeing is my actions are teaching the child, the dark one, to see how things are. So it makes a lot of sense for me to specifically try to emphasize the good parts. He might be in a position to decide what's going to happen with humans. We have to make it to Polis in time for the peace conference. There isn't going to be any peace. Just the last war. Now I know the answers to all the questions. Pavel's head proved to be a real treasury of Corbett's sinister plans. So, are they throwing some kind of a boss monster at me? I was hoping that fight would have been more or less a boss fight of sorts. So, hopefully not any kind of a big beast or anything like that. That would be... disappointing. Where am I supposed to go? 
Yeah, the problem is this. If you go anywhere even remotely out of the way of where you're supposed to go, it's just fucking instant death drops. So, I guess I'll follow the vegetation. trees they don't seem to be interested in me but they will attack me if I get into their way at all here I'm supposed to go somewhere there is this is a marker get involved in that shit. Now I know it all. The picture is complete. All I saw was just in preparation. The real blow will be delivered at the very last moment, when nobody would expect. Hobart boasted he was going to take the whole of the metro without spilling blood. He could really do it. The last blood he'd have to spill would be the blood of the Order of Fighters protecting D6. The rich are going to take them by surprise, for at that very moment, Mosquin is going to be singing the peace, signing the peace treaty with Miller and the others. Makes a lot of sense. So why am I going after the bear? like an arena type situation. Go somewhere where you can't escape. You do not want to fight it. She's protecting the children. Watch out! Supposed to kill it or what? It's 
seems like he might be able to crash through the barricade blocking us here. I don't see what else I could do besides try to fight it. Can't fucking get away from it. I mean, I can't move at all. I'm inside the fucking bear thing. It's like you're walking in tar. You just can't. I'm literally trying to run and it to move slower than walking pace. The thing is, am I supposed to kill the bear or what? I suppose I have to kill the bear. I mean, I don't understand why it's being so aggressive in the first place. Because it's not... that's not how you protect your cops. He just wants you to go away, but he's going after me. Even with the swarms of other enemies. Part. I was just wondering, could we basically just kill the rats? But... That might be the only thing allowing me to do any kind of attacking. So shooting it is sort of worthless. Yeah. She's protecting her children. Watch out! This is the initial phase you can't avoid. Seems once we get enough done, we've got a new phase in the operation. So, how does this proceed? Clearly nothing is gonna happen if I just wait. She protects her back. Vulnerable there. Yeah, I don't understand how I'm supposed to fight this because I can't I can't get away from any of the enemies at all. And then this comes, so I can't do shit now either. If I stop even for a second, I'm fucked. But how am I gonna get to shoot at its back then? Ok, 
Okay, it seems like basically more or less by time. And now he escapes. So, so the fight works in a in a sequence of sorts. Certain events must happen before other follow-up events can happen. So trying to just basically fight it out as you would probably realistically fight it, just basically going all in is not gonna work. You have to realize at what stage of the engagement you are in, so what is expected of you next. Surely there's uh, at least one extra health kit somewhere. Currently I have none. Two. Good enough. It seems like we saved the bear too. Not sure why the bear's life is more valuable than the rats. And then Corbett would have a weapon which would wipe out all of humanity. If that hadn't been done before. All the stations will be filled with corpses and the red line will rule the metro. If it manages to contain the virus. After all, it could mutate too. I can't waste a minute anymore. I have to make it in time for this keys conference. Thank God for the you brought a friend. Wait, is this? Arty, this kid shouldn't be out there without a gas mask. What the fuck? Ah, so it is, so it is. A child of the surface, a dark one. No, don't shoot him, Miller. Get it away from me! No mask. I should have known. This one's green, but that one's yellow. Tell him I'm not a danger. It seems he is adapting well. Yes, that will keep him alive. May I talk to him, Artyom? Come on, Miller. Put your fear aside. This child is the future. You need only take its hand. My hands are full enough. I doubt this creature can help us. But you too. And go on without me, for I give into better judgment and rid the earth of it. So, what happened? How is this? Oh, oh, I, I can understand his thoughts. And I can hear yours, Artyom. Can you hear? Anyone's thought? Just by touching them? With Artyom, it's different. We can talk from afar. He was... adopted long ago. Do you see, Artyom? The Dark Ones changed you, so that they could understand us! What's behind that door? Did you hear? They call you. I can hear. Open this! Wait. That looks like one of the sealed doors in D6. Yes, an exhibition! Has a strong lock too. We've yet to break it. What's there? The people. They're inside. Sleeping. Incredible. Look at this. They're hibernating. He is not alone. I must wake them up. It's time for them to leave. We are all going there now. We'll open the door if we can. There's death. Nearby, all around, but I must wake them, or be alone forever. Now listen, help us, and we'll help you. 
I will. What needs to be done? I must wake them. We'll have to improvise. Hey, wake, wake up, up, you bastards! bastards. Colonel, can you open the gate where the gardens line ends at D6? Do you have the code? I have all the codes for D6, but I can't promise a thing. You'll have to. He will help us in police if you do. Take him along then, and brief me on the way. If I'm convinced that he'll help us, I'll open your door. Follow me. Hmm. He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others, to free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. Artyom, we already knew of Oktobriska from Khan. And we did confront Moskvin on this. Yet he didn't even try to disprove Open it. Gate. He told that by sheer luck, yes, their chemical defense squad was exercising their life. And thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this starting epidemic in its blood. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of it. What can you say for that? Even I would have done the same. But Colonel, it was Lasnitsky, the, the yes, agent sir. who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Artyom. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? But the Reds tried to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. What can we do? We are not an army. We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, yes Moskvin did gear up for war, but after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to All peace. And we must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin, what difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood! What, you've got a better idea? You brought this ape here. Open what airlock. now? Yes, We're done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me. So what exactly can we do? Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. I asked the kid about how he made it, how did he survive the inferno, now I know. When the missiles rained upon the city of the Dark Ones, he was simply not there. The Dark Ones? We've been asking ourselves how it happened so that new sentient life emerged almost instantly. Why did we take millions of years of evolution and all the Dark Ones needed were a few years? The answer was simple, it was us people who had brought them to life. They emerged amongst us. Sukhoi, my stepfather, was right. They were the next stage of evolution, next to ours. We were their fathers, they were our children. We had created so many weapons to destroy ourselves with, and not one of those weapons gave birth to them. They were not like us. What kills us makes them stronger. We left them a ravage poisoned world, but they learned to live in it. They sustain themselves by absorbing radiation. After being born, they do not enter the world at once. For some time they continue to exist in a dream, growing and learning from the ones who came to be before them. What we destroyed was their home, but the place where their young ones slept was underground, close to the botanical gardens, close to the TV tower. 
It was in the bunkers under the TV buildings, which were connected to D6. But when the warheads fell, the entrance tunnels caved in. The Dark Ones, who were almost ready to enter the world, got blocked inside. Instead of them, he, the little one, opened his eyes, awakened by the explosion and the last scream of his mother, knowing nothing of what had happened, not ready for anything, knowing nothing of the world. He tried looking for his kin but could not find them, because the few survivors continued sleeping. Their time to wake up had come and passed. Very soon, they could die of hunger without even opening their eyes once. I don't know how Khan persuaded Miller, but he was the icon of stoicism and did not reach for his weapon when he saw the Dark One. And the following events shocked me even more than the plans of the Reds. They were Dark Ones in D6. Khan had hypnotized that hypothesis hypothesized hypothesized that they were created artificially before the war. Created as what? Soldiers immune to radiation and having no need for voice communications? Could be so, but then God probably decided to breathe souls into them. God, please let this work out. Get ready, Arthur. Stay close to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Let there be peace in the name of our children! You are a liar! Come, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards, take this man away. Ranger, stand down! Arthur, little one, it's your turn. So do I get to do something here? Comrade Moscovy, you must support me on this. Or else, some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. <laughs> I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. Maxim, brother. I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink. Sure, brother. Me dead. Corbett sold you out. And now he's got me by the balls. All because of you. I'm 
sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. But even so... I gave something to brother. Yes. Yes. I did. I poisoned him. Court. I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And he's storming the D6 now. And there's that virus. And if that falls into Corbett's hands, it's the end. You but you scum. are the leader! They Order him! Go. Call the troops back! You stole them at least! Buy day some time to make desert. a deal! What kind There's of... nothing more we can do here. Spoilers. Hurry! Faster! To the platform! Damn them! I'm not surrendering D6! Follow me! So, a final battle at D6. Again. The armor. It will be bad for everyone if you lose. Then I have to save them. My family. You're good, Artyom. He is gone. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. His mother and father. 